We're back. You're watching UCA Today, and we have a special guest here in the studio, Miss Sarah Slocum, the reigning Miss Arkansas and UCA alum. Sarah, thank you so much for coming back to UCA. Thank you for having me. Uh, I guess the first order of business is to congratulate you on being uh, Miss Arkansas. I know that has to be a thrill. It is. It absolutely has been the best job. Um, I've had it for eight months, and in July, unfortunately, I will have to give it up, but it has been the best year filled with traveling and meeting people that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to meet otherwise. So just a true blessing. Now, you recently went to Las Vegas and uh, participated in the Miss uh, America pageant, and uh, I guess congratulations again. You finished in the top 15. Tell us about that experience. It was wonderful. That experience was everything that I'd hoped it would be. Growing up, watching Miss America as a little girl, and then finally getting to go and be on that stage and meet the other girls who were representing their states. Um, it was just wonderful. And I came back to Arkansas with a real appreciation, not only for the Miss America system and what they're doing for higher education for young women in the world to the tune of $45 million each year, but what we're doing in Arkansas because we are the largest state scholarship pageant doling out over $75,000 in scholarship money each year. Uh, well, uh, being Miss Arkansas, and we'll get to your higher, I know your platform is mm -hmm. higher education, but Let's tell the viewers, being Miss Arkansas, what is a typical day for you or a typical <laughs> week? I know you have a lot of things that you're scheduled to do in this one year reign. Right. That's just it. There is no typical day <laughs> or typical week. Each week brings uh, new surprises, new people, <clears throat> new travels. But really, I'm on the road seven days a week, and um, my business manager in Hot Springs schedules my appearances. She tells me where I'm going to be, and I have a contact person there, and I usually have a chaperone. So it's a lot of traveling, a lot of um, meeting new people and being thrust into situations that you have to be ready for at the drop of a hat. I've, I say that I travel like a Girl Scout <laughs> this year. <laughs> <laughs> Always be prepared. Always wherever, prepared. Wherever you go. Now you have to go across the state to all the other the the pageants that lead up to contestants that go to Miss Arkansas, correct? Right. The local preliminary pageants are our main source of scholarship in Arkansas to girls who may not get to go to state, they may not ever wear the crown of Miss Arkansas, but they're still earning scholarship money at that local level. And I've had the privilege of going to many of those local pageants and meeting those contestants. Now, you mentioned this earlier, your platform is higher education. Very fitting that we're here at a higher education institution here at UCA. Tell, tell us about your, your platform, why, why you picked higher education. Higher education really spoke to me in that um, I noticed through doing a study here at UCA for one of my political science classes, Arkansas ranks 49th in the constituents with uh, a bachelor's degree or higher in the nation. But we also rank 49th in economic development. And I saw that that was a cyclical problem that the way and the way for us to solve that problem and begin bringing new businesses into Arkansas was to really build up our educational foundation. Okay. Um, staying on the higher education theme, mm -hmm. your experiences here at UCA, was there uh, tell us about that. Were there professors that really encouraged you or inspired you um, to, uh, uh, to, I know you're in, in graduate school and we'll talk about that in a second, but tell us about your experiences here at UCA. I loved being at UCA. Um, there were absolutely professors who shaped uh, my learning into and, and helped me become the woman that I am today, but my experience at UCA took place Partly in the classroom, that's where part of my education came from, but also learning how to function in a community of 12,000 people like we have here at UCA. I loved the fact that it was very, um, it was a very communal experience. You didn't have to be involved in everything on campus or every group. You could pick and choose, but you still felt very much a part of the fabric of UCA by doing that. And that is what I believe truly sets UCA apart from any other university in Arkansas. You picked uh, political science as your major, why? I did. Well, I we came to college actually thinking I wanted to be the next Katie Couric. <laughs> and uh, learned very quickly that that's not where I wanted to dedicate my life. I wanted to dedicate my life to public service. And so I chose the political science department. Uh, I spent many, many days in Irby Hall <laughs> having my <laughs> classes there. And that really helped prepare me for 
um, a life of public service and to also enter the field of law. Very good segue. You are currently now in uh, a law student at the University of Arkansas. Uh, you obviously had to, to drop out a year to right. be Miss Arkansas. I did. I finished my first year of law school at the U of A at Fayetteville, and um, I'll go back next fall and, and pick up right where I left off. I have two more years before I can finish my law degree, then hopefully pass the bar and get a job. <laughs> I'd love to be back at UCA. Uh, future goals, you're, you're going to get finish your, your law degree, and I know we have full faith and confidence that you will uh, <laughs> pass the bar. Um, what, uh, what are some future goals that you have? Future goals of mine are really to focus on my career and, and blend my law degree and my training into higher education. I'd love to continue working in the field of higher ed because for me this was not something that I chose just as a pageant platform, but a platform that I chose to, to start my life and my career on. So I'd love to be uh, general counsel for your, for a university or to in some way impact higher right. ed in Arkansas. I'm going to put you on the spot, of course, I always do with do, you. Yeah. Um, political aspirations, would you ever run for, for political office someday? Uh, you know, I won't, I won't say never, but I'd really like to work on a campaign more than, than run. I like the uh, grunt work, I like being in the background. Sure. I'll let it slide this time, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna push you for that. Uh, last thing, um, what are some advice that you? I know you've talked about to a lot of a lot of kids around the state of Arkansas about higher education, but what would you give? Uh, what are your top two or three advice that you would give to to students? Uh, really, the first piece of advice is that <clears throat> every student should be filling out a FAFSA. That's a free application for federal student aid, and that's very easy to do. It costs you no money, it takes a little bit of time, but it can check to see whether you are eligible for any federal funding to help go to college. And it's very easy and totally worth it. Um, but the other piece of advice that I'd like to offer is that students should go visit the colleges that they think they're interested in attending. That's what I did when I made my decision to come to UCA. And it helps you see how you would fit into the social fabric of the university rather than just looking at it from afar. Right. Sarah, thank you so much for uh, coming back to UCA and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's going to do it for this segment. We'll be right back. You're watching UCA Today.